Hi, this is Lynn Dye, and today we're going to look at some of the features, newer features in Office 2016, and specifically we're going to be looking at Outlook today. So here is uh, what it looks like, Outlook 2016, and if you are wondering what version you're using, go to, click on the file, and that'll take you to what's called the Backstage View. Come down here to your Office account, and this is where it tells you what you've got. There's what's called an MSI, a click to run, which is what this is. It's a subscription product. And then there's a also a downloadable office. You know, so you may have bought a disk or something like that, or just a, a one copy for one device uh, copy of office. And this one is actually office 365. And I bought a subscription, it's $99 a year, and I get five licenses, so I can put it on five different devices. It's great for sharing with your family, you know, people have several computers around their house or tablets, you can put it on there. So that's how you tell. And it's automatically updated unless you disable it, but I wouldn't disable it. Uh, you can see, click and get, learn what's been going on with your subscription. Office Insider, this is if you want to get really geeky and find out about things that are coming out and get them actually sooner than others. The About is kind of boring. Now this What's New tool is really cool. Um, it tells you some of the newer things. You can go online and get more of them. So uh, these are, I think, newer things. Over here on the left side, this is where you can personalize. You can change your photo and things like that. If you want to switch account, uh, that means everything you do, like I've got several accounts, so this account here is the one I mainly use. I have a lot of my things I save, pictures, you know, things I use on this account. So I just always sign in on this account on all my devices, and then everything's always the same. Everything always looks the same, which is really nice. Down here, we have services that we can connect. So I, I've got my OneDrive for Business, and I've got two. You can add as many OneDrive accounts as you have. And here's my SharePoint, and I also have Twitter and YouTube, which I really don't use those, but um, they're, they're on there. You can also add some others. And uh, they do have Dropbox. I don't know why it's not showing up here now. So I wanted to, to show you that. And um, another thing they have that's new I've not seen this in in 2013 although I'm not I'm not using it anymore and there's a support tool this is a really cool thing I've actually used this a couple times this one is specifically <clears throat> for outlook problems and you download a tool and it'll in you have, then you have to install it and it kind of walks you through and asks you some questions and it's amazing how smart this tool is it has fixed a couple things for me which it's it's really nice so we'll go back here and uh, let's go to options and this will have, I wanted to look at some of the things back here that you can do with Outlook, especially on the mail since that's what we're focusing. If you have not created a signature, I would do that. It's, it's so nice to have that. You can type it, type it in down here and then you can say, what email account you want it to go with? Do I want it to go to new messages? You can you can get as many signatures here and decide where you you know when I reply I want this signature, my initial uh, email out I want this signature. It's really nice, and this is a newer machine so I haven't I haven't done it yet. Uh, and of course you can come down here and change how things react when when messages come in if you don't want to get notified if it's too distracting to you, you can come here and turn off notifications uh, it's just really really nice and then uh, I think that's all we're going to look at here a couple other things I wanted to show you with that actually are just new in the past couple months is how you can attach files so if I'm going to email someone here I'm going to, it's automatically going to show me my recent items. And I can also come down here and it will show me the sites that I've connected. And I can choose a file from there. But I can, I'll just say, I'll just select this one here. And it defaults to anyone can edit. And by the way, it does not send the file itself, it sends a link. And because it's 
connected to your OneDrive here. But you can come over here and you can change the permissions to view. So maybe you just want people to be able to look at the file. So that's a newer feature that's that's really nice. And it when, when I was looking online, it said it also applied to 2013. It may be applying to the MSI version of it because on my desktop, I have 2013, but I have the a different version of Office that I, ha I bought a single install. So that did not have this option. That's why I'm doing this here from my laptop. And one other thing I wanted to show that's newer, and that's inserting the ability to insert different icons. So if we come over here, and there's tons and tons of icons. So if we want to go to nature and outdoors, I like dogs, and I want to put a dog in there and say insert. You can also size it. So it doesn't have to be real big or real small, and it looks like it's it stays, it doesn't pixelate when you resize it. You might want to use this maybe in a calendar feature or something like that. Uh, just a something that they added make things a little a little more fun. Um, uh, one thing I wanted to show you also was about the toolbar. This up here is called a quick access toolbar, and you can add things in there that you want. Uh, you can customize it here and add some other things. Also, maybe you, you want to have a kind of like a clean sheet of paper and you don't want to have all this stuff here in the way. Over here, it's kind of hard to see, but these are your ribbon display options. And you can hide it so you have more real estate, which is nice if you're working on a laptop. Sorry, our clocks are chiming here. Uh, or you can just decide you want to show your tabs or you can show everything. Well, that's it for today. Hope you liked it. You could uh, subscribe to my channel or go to my website and subscribe to my uh, weekly newsletter. Thanks so much.